Hi there. Vamos a empezar en dos minutos. Hola. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Excellent. So now we're Hi. gonna. Hi. How are you? Very good. I'm sick. Why? Why are you sick? We think I have COVID. Oh no! Really? Ouch. But I hope you get better. Did you get tested? Good evening, guys. Good evening. Yes. Ya se hizo el examen. ¿Qué le dijeron? Yes. Eh, me salió negativa, pero me la van a hacer el jueves otra vez. Ah. Porque vale. tengo demasiados síntomas. Sí, con la nueva variante está como raro ese, esa, sí. esa forma de COVID que no, está, no la logran detectar rápido. Rápido, ajá. Así que a ver, me tienen encerrada. Oh, really? Ouch. Uso mascarilla. Yo por eso no salgo de mi casa. <risa> Qué chivo. Ya, yeah, era un go out. No salgo. Aquí me quedo. Desayuno almuerzo. <risa> Maybe once a week. Tal vez una <risa> vez a la semana salgo. De ahí no salgo. Porque me, me da miedito. Pero sí, vacúnense, right? Y pues, sigan usando mascarilla <ríe> para los que salen. Déjenme ver aquí, vean. Vamos a ver. Good evening, guys and girls. Ya vamos a ir que se conecten. It's time to learn English. Vamos a ver, ojalá que se conecten estos hipotes, right? Now, we're going to, today is class 17, right? We know that. Let me call the attendance real quick. 
right? And then we're going to continue with our class. We have... Good night, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Good evening, ya paso lista. <laughs> Ahorita mismo en estos precisos instantes. Vamos a pasar lista. We have Annalisa Valle de Molina. Annalisa Valle. No está Annalisa, uy, qué raro. Eh, Brenda Yamilet Estrada. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Daniela María Ramos, aquí está, gracias a Dios. Enferma, pero aquí está. <ríe> Edwin Leonel Ordóñez. Presente. Thank you, Edwin. Fátima Joana. Presente, teacher. Gerardo Antonio Colocho. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Aide de la Paz. Jaira Donis. Jonathan Alexis. Juana Cristela. Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Hola, hola. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Thank you. Eh, let's continue with... Uh, Katia Carolina Parada Trejo. Katia. Marina Vanessa Vázquez. Marina Vanessa, no. Miriam Arely Romero Luna. Presente. Thank you, Miriam. And Sandra Maricela Alfaro. No, Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Presente. <laughs> And Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Teresa, Teresa, no. Ok, Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Dueñas. Ok, muy bien. Right, we're Present going. Teacher. Thank you. Ah, I did. Presente, <laughs> teacher. Ya vinieron, ok, muy bien. <laughs> Very good, thank you so much. Now, we're going to start working here with our class. Right, like I said, today is class number 17. Let me show you here. Veamos si estamos grabando. Ayer no estábamos grabando la clase. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Por poco nos iba a tocar repetir la clase. Okay, very good. So, we have there, right, class number 17. How to use would like to. This is one of my favorite topics because you use it to make offers, right? Or to say things that you want to do, right? So we're going to learn a lot of things today. And aparte de la gramática, cómo utilizarlo, para qué momentos utilizarlo, que es lo importante, right? No importa que no sepamos algo gramaticalmente, si no sabemos cómo utilizarlo, en qué momento de la vida lo vamos a utilizar, right? But before that, I will switch totally to Spanish. Right? Cambio totalmente a español. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora, chicos? Eh, esta semana es la última semana de clases, right? De este módulo, claro está. Nos faltan un montón de módulos, pero de este módulo 2 es la última semana de clases. Ahora, esta última semana ustedes ya van a estar recibiendo la encuesta. Ustedes ya vieron que ya enviaron a, a, al chat varias información, right? Si nos vamos al chat de WhatsApp, a veces como son chats de grupales, nosotros no, no le prestamos mucha atención, right? Pero si vamos a revisar, Right. En el chat del WhatsApp nos dicen acá, primero nos notifican que hubo un mensaje a las cinco y media, que todos se conectaran, right? porque es la última semana y es la última oportunidad para que todos los que han tenido faltas, estoy diciendo faltas de varios días, que ya se vayan poniendo a, al día con su asistencia. Lo mínimo que pueden tener de asistencia es 80%. Entonces, por eso les mandan eso, que, estén, que traten de estar toda la sesión, por lo menos, eh, para conseguir el 80%, ¿verdad? Y ahí les pegan el enlace, right? Ese es el enlace solo para esta clase. Ahí se los pegan en el mensaje que envió Fabiola Ramos. Y en el siguiente eh, mensaje, ahí right, les dicen de que se dirigen a ustedes para notificar que se han estado solicitando documentos de reinscripción a recursos humanos y por mensaje de WhatsApp a cada participante para que el siguiente módulo empiece tentativamente el 4 de octubre. Eso es importante, porque es importante que ustedes envíen todos sus documentos a tiempo. A ver, les digo, 
Es importante porque de esta forma ustedes no se quedan tanto tiempo sin practicar. Seamos realistas y cuando, nos vamos, cuando somos estudiantes, nos vamos afuera y ya no practicamos con nadie más, solo en la clase. Right? Entonces es, es importante que no dejemos tanto tiempo de, de rezagado, así sin hacer nada, ¿verdad? Y por tanto tienen que estar enviando los papeles. Agradezco a los que estuvieron haciendo preguntas la semana pasada acerca de sus papeles. Espero que la administración los haya con, eh, contactado para, para darles información y los hayan podido enviar lo antes posible, ya que la fecha que se ha propuesto para enviarlos es este viernes 1 de octubre, que es el mismo día que terminamos el módulo. ¿Verdad? Recuérdense que enviar los papeles no garantiza que van a estar en el siguiente módulo, porque hay que ver su asistencia, hay que ver sus notas en la plataforma y también hay que ver eh, que llenen la encuesta final. ¿Verdad? Esos, esos son los requisitos. Ahora, hablando de la encuesta final, también ya a partir de mañana, mañana es miércoles, no todos, pero la mayoría de los grupos van a estar ya recibiendo las encuestas de satisfacción. Recuerden, por favor, a los que estuvieron conmigo en el módulo 1 y los que ahora van a estar conmigo en esta encuesta, aunque ustedes reciban la encuesta y nuestro, nuestro, eh, ¿cómo se dice? encargado de las encuestas, le vamos a decir, no hay como decirle ahorita, <ríe> nuestro encargado de las encuestas le va a decir diciendo, no olvide llenar su encuesta, no olvide, ese es su trabajo, recordarles a ustedes que no olviden llenar su encuesta, por favor, no la vayan a llenar antes del viernes, porque la vamos a llenar en clase, ¿Okay? así como lo hicimos la vez pasada, porque esa, eh, el llenado de la encuesta debe quedar grabado para que así en Safor audite quiénes fueron en realidad los que estuvieron en la clase y quienes entregaron la encuesta. Ahí nos va a tomar 15, 20 minutos llenar la encuesta durante la clase. Así que, por favor, no la completen ustedes solitos. Puede que tengan alguna pregunta o algo, entonces es mejor que la completen aquí conmigo, ¿verdad? Eh, y a cada quien, ya cuando estén llenando la, la información que puede ser algo confusa, ¿verdad? Ya ustedes pueden dar su opinión acerca del curso de forma individual. ¿Ok? Y ahora ya me callo y seguimos con la clase. <ríe> ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿No? ¿No? Ok. Let's continue. So we have class number 17. Right? And we're going to start. Well, we did this activity yesterday. We practiced this. Right? With this conversation, remember that we're talking about technical problems. Right? We are reporting problems, right? So what kind of problems can we report, Fatima Joana? For example, tell me one, yesterday you completed like a table, this table, right? Reporting issues on your book. Esta fue la que hicieron ayer. What were some of the problems that you reported? Um, paper stuck in printer. Paper okay. stuck in printer, okay. Yeah. Vamos a ponerlos acá, solo para tenerlos. Paper stuck in printer. Uh -huh. What's another? In the other one, um, blurry, blurry copies. Ah, blurry copies. Okay, blurry copies. Very good. Thank you, Joanna. Those are really um, important problems that we can have with technical uh, devices. Very good. Choose another okay. classmate, Fatima. Um, 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 um. Sandrita. Sandra, okay. <laughs> Very good. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> Hi. Sandra, what are some of the issues that you, you, that you put here? Common issues? you have in your workplace? In my place, uh, the travel, uh -huh. um, the, el instrumento fue la computador, la impresora, y Como los problemas, digo, perdón. Los no. problemas que van a hacer travel with Wi-Fi connection, 
Wi-Fi connection. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's another? A paper stuck the printer. Paper stuck in printer again. Very good. Okay, okay. Again. Uh huh. What's another? Another. It the. ¿Cómo se dice? De. Ay, ¿cómo le digo? <risa> Diga así como le de... tiene escrito. No se preocupen en equivocarse, aquí lo arreglamos entre todos. Ok. De pro... El papel con la impresora es ese mismo de paper stock de printer. Paper stock in printer, ajá. In printer y solo eso le había dejado en la computadora. Ok, ok, that's ok, very good. Choose another person, Sandrita. Um, 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 Aide. Aide, 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 Aide. What do you have, Aide? What are some problems you have? Frozen stream. What? Frozen, Frozen stream. stream. Uh -huh. uh, no internet access. No internet access. Okay, so we have a Wi Fi connection. Okay. Very good. Okay, we see. We are repeating problems. Very good. What's another? Um, the battery doesn't charge. Battery does not charge. Doesn't charge. Very good, right? You see, excellent. Thank you so much, Aide. Now, did you all put some of the issues there on the on the on the table, right? Escribieron ahí sus problemitas. Sí? No? Yeah. Maybe? Okay. Sí. Very good. Let's continue. Sigamos trabajando entonces, right? Allow me to continue. Let's see here, it says, no internet access, aha, uh -huh. yes. No internet access would be like Wi-Fi connection problems, mm -hmm. right? Como yo ayer que tenía Wi-Fi pro connection problems, right? Hay Wi-Fi, hay, o sea, hay, pero no hay, ya he entendido eso. Hay Wi-Fi, yes. pero no hay Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Very difficult, right? <laughs> now, let's continue. Continuamos entonces. Vamos a seguir utilizando estos problemas, right? Guárdenlos por ahí, right? Because we're going to keep choosing them, right? Now, I'm going to show you right now. Some questions. I want you to remember the answers, okay? For each of the questions, I will ask, I will put right here. Right, give me a moment. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, one moment. Oh, okay. So, okay, let's continue. The power went out and my computer doesn't work. That's another one. Many teachers have that problem today in, in Honduras. Crazy. Now, let's see here. Look at this. It says here, let's practice our understanding, right? Now, we are going to choose here Right, for all the questions, the different answers that we can have, right? So like una respuesta correcta, okay? Now, let's take a look at this. Todos, le, todos van a leer y todos van a escoger su respuesta. Right? Al final vamos a ver las diferentes preguntas. One person here is going to read the, the question. And the answers, ¿ok? Una persona me va a ayudar para ir leyendo la pregunta y las respuestas y todos vamos a tener nuestra propia respuesta. Al final, vamos a verificar cuál podría ser la respuesta correcta. Right? Now, Daniela, let's start with you. Can you please read the question and the answers? If 
you don't hear someone, which of the following is the most polite thing to say? I can hear you. I'm afraid I can hear you. What? What you say again? What you said again? Very good. Which one do you think is the most polite? Recuérdense que no vamos a estar... Ah, wow, perfecto todo. Vamos a intentar adivinar, right? ¿Cuál sería la I... más la más polite? What do you think, Daniela? The thing is, I can hear you. I can't hear you. I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you. Daniela says that this is the answer. Eso es lo que ella dice. Eso le va a poner ella ahí. I'm afraid I can hear you, right? The other ones, no, sorry, ella dijo la otra, perdón, perdón, perdón. I can hear you, right? That's what she said, right? Then the other ones, you're going to choose your answers. ¿Ya escogieron su respuesta? Yes? Polite, ¿qué era polite? Aide, ¿qué era polite? What is the meaning of polite? Eh, más respetuoso. Exactly, the most polite. El más respetuoso de todos. ¿Cuál de todas esas respuestas es la más respetuosa de todas? ¿Qué le dirían ustedes cuando I'm no escuchan afraid. a alguien? I am afraid I can hear you. I'm afraid I can hear you. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Yo no sé nada. Ok, let's continue. Continuamos. Ok. Eh, Aide, please read this, this question and the answers and give me your opinion. Which expression is more polite? How many do you want? How many would you like? I think is how many would you like? Okay, how many would you like? Los demás decidan, right? Welcome, Marina. Hello, teacher, hello. Hello, hello. We are choosing the possible answers. Okay, estamos haciendo una actividad grupal, grupal pero no grupal, right? Okay, hoy, okay. Hoy estamos bipolares en esta clase. Bipolares. Right? <laughs> sí, pero no. <laughs> okay, so we have this, let's continue. Ana Valle, can you help me out and read this one? Yes, you need to ask for someone's mailing address. Which of the following is not polite? Mm -hmm. Not polite. Mm -hmm. May I have your address, please? Could you give me your address, please? Give me your address. The give third me. one. The third one. Okay, give me your address. Give me your phone. Because that is a, a you told, you teach us that is a imposition, no. Um, An inst instruction. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Give me your address. Give me your money. No. <laughs> Very good. Okay. She says that give me your address is the not polite. Okay. Now let's continue. Después vamos a revisar cuántas buenas tuvimos. Right. Let's continue here. Gerardo, read please. Which of the following expression is the most polite? Uh, how would you like to pay today? Lealas todas, por favor. Uh, how much money do you have? Who do you want to pay? Who are you gonna to pay for this? Who would you like to pay today? Okay, so what is your answer? How would you like to pay today? Okay, now just repeat after me, uh, Gerardo. How? How much? How? 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 How much? How much? How do you? How do you? How you gonna? How you gonna? How would you? How would you? How? How? Very good. Thank you. Now let's continue. Right? Ya tenemos acá. Let's see this one else right here. Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Hi, teacher. 
read the question okay. and the possible answers. Okay. How should you check it if the customer needs help with anything else? Uh, what else? Yes, what more? Will there be anything else? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Uh huh. What is your answer? I think. Um. What? Will there be anything else? Will there be anything else? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Ya copiaron toda su respuesta. No los miro copiando. No los miro anotando. Right? Just the answer. So, solo su respuesta para después checar. Ok. Juana Cristela. Read next. It's hell to will you are speaking on the phone people can hear it it helps to blah 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 while you're speaking on the phone people can hear it what do you think is the answer read the five answers lea las respuestas it or whisper as will three okay it um, yum, yum, eat, right? Burp. When you are, when you eat a lot, you, you burp, right? Es cuando estamos muy llenos, right? We burp, right? No lo voy a hacer porque tengo la educación. We burp. And then we have whisper. Sometimes you have to whisper. Whisper. And then we smile. Smile. And sometimes we cry. What do you think is the answer, Euseda? Whisper. Whisper, okay. It helps to whisper while you're speaking on the phone. People can hear it, okay? Después vemos. Now let's continue here. Sandra Maricena. How show how show you ask someone to wait? Lea las respuestas, por favor. Use um wait wait just a moment, please. One minute. Be quiet for a second. My oh. answers. Just a moment, please. Just a moment, please. Okay. Wait wait. Just a moment, please. One minute. Be quiet for a second. Right? Okay. And let's see here the next one. It's for Brenda. If you um, if you don't understand what someone says, you call respond by saying. Uh, I'm afraid, afraid. I didn't understand what you say. Sorry, I don't understand only. Afraid, I cannot to understand. I can't understand anything you say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Esto está bien okay. porque cuando comencemos a hablar nos va a pasar bastante. Okay. okay. I think I'm afraid I didn't understand what you say. Okay. I'm afraid I didn't understand what you said. Repeat what you said. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Los demás ya se ya checaron. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one right here. Read it for me. Leala, por favor, Karen Janet. In general, be being, 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 
okay. Being polite re requires sentences and question. Mm -hmm. Short, uh, longer, shorter. Uh -huh. uh, I think shorter. Shorter, okay. Now repeat with me, Karen. In general, being In polite requires, según usted, vea, shorter sentences and questions. Being polite requires. Repeat. Being okay. polite requires. In general, being polite requires mm -hmm. sentences and questions. And your answer is? Shorter. Shorter. Entonces, esta palabrita la deberíamos de mover para acá, right? Shorter. And let's see here, Marina, please read this. Which expression are impolite? Impolite. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, for me, are impolite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. Excellent, Marina. Very good. And I think that's the last one. Now, we're going to see the answers. Vamos a ver las respuestas de cada uno. Right? And let's start checking. The first three, right? If you don't hear someone, now the most polite way of saying it is, I'm afraid I can't hear you. I'm afraid I can hear you, right? Para sus amigos, sus familiares, sus serpen, I can hear you. I can hear you. O para sus amigos ahí en la casa, sus cheros, sus, sus coworkers le pueden decir, What you said again? ¿Qué dijiste vos? What you said again? Right? Pero aquí lo estamos viendo. The most polite thing to say. Right? Which expression is more polite? How many would you like? How many would you like? Right? When we ask for someone's mailing address, which of the following is not polite? Give me your address. Si usted le dice a alguien, give me your address. Uf. Más está en el trabajo. No es cortés. Right? Then we continue here. Number four. The answer is, how would you like to pay today? How would you like to pay today? Right? Number five. Will there be, will there be anything else? Si usted dice, are you done yet? Eso, ¿Ya han visto Shrek? No. Nunca han visto Shrek, la película. ¿Sí? Veanla, de lo que se han yeah. perdido en esta vida. Yeah. Ok. <ríe> When you watch Shrek, right, there is, there is an, a scene where the donkey is asking Shrek, are we, done? are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Right? ¿Ya llegamos? ¿Ya llegamos? ¿Ya llegamos? Esta está bien parecida porque es, ¿ya terminaste? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Pero una forma como que ya está aburrido. El burro ya está aburrido de ir en el, en el carruaje. Entonces, are we there yet? Are we there? Are we there yet? Ya llegamos. Y aquí es, are you done yet? Ya terminaste. Ah, tanto que te estás. Right? So, that is very informal. Right? But if we say, will there be anything else? Hay algo más en lo que le puedo ayudar. Will there be anything else, right? And then this one is a smile, right? According to some studies, if you smile over the phone, aunque no lo estén viendo, they feel that you're happy, right? So when you're talking over the phone, you should be, hi, how are you today? How can I help you, right? Oh, yes, I'm fine. But if you say, How are you today? How can I help you? Yes, good, okay. Yes, I can help you with that. It's different, right? Your tone of voice is different when you smile or when you're not smiling, right? So la palabra correcta o el verbo correcto es smile, sonreír. El otro es whisper, like 
That's whisper. Then we have just a moment. I'm afraid I didn't understand what you said. Longer, right? Y es cierto, cuando estamos dando respuestas, lar eh, respuestas que son más formales, siempre van a ser un poco más largas. Right? Por eso es que nuestro inglés va bien gramatical, porque utilizamos respuestas súper largas. Right? And then we have, yeah, mm, huh? Huh? That is impolite. Muy bien, very good. Estas son frases que vamos a utilizar para las conversaciones que vamos a trabajar hoy. Espero que hayan tomado nota, ¿ok? Now let's start. Permítanme. Creo que eso la vamos a hacer otro ratito. Ok, yes. Let me show you something. Ahorita les estoy dando vocabulario, ¿ok? Let me show you something. Can you see my computer? Yes. Ok. This is, an, thank you. This is another example of conversation that we could use, right? In this, this conversation is very big, right? Very, very big. Now, we we'll have a conversation between Max and grace max and grace now we have there right some words that we need to pay attention to hay palabritas a las que le vamos a prestar más atención que a otras right las pueden ver en negrito ahorita but i'm gonna put them here also with green calling help desk Support form, troubleshooting, never mind, right? Malfunction, diagnose, software, hardware, remotely. I work remotely, I work in my house, right? Trabajo desde casa se dice remotely. And this one. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to practice the conversation just to see the, the words that are highlighted. Solo para ver las palabras que están ya marcadas. I need you to help me, Ana. Okay? I am going to be Max. You're going to be Grace. Mm. Sorry, I am going to be Grace. You're going to be Max, okay? You start. Hello, hello. Is this calling tech support? Uh, yes, my name is Grace and this is the help desk. How can I help you today? I'm having a problem with my machine and I don't, uh, and I don't know what to do. Have you tried reading our online troubleshooting guide or asking your question on the support forum? The what? Never mind. Can oh. you describe the problem you're having? It doesn't work. I understand that. What exactly is the malfunction? It's not working. Okay. For me to diagnose whether it's a software or hardware problem, I'll need more information. Unfortunately, I cannot prepare it remotely. Okay, I understand. Good. We offer all kinds of support from setup to customization to disaster recovery, but I can't do anything if I don't understand the problem. Okay. Could you walk me through what happens when you turn on the machine? Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all? Zip, zip, zero. <laughs> Sir, is the machine plugged in? Oh, it needs to be plugged in? <sighs> okay, very good, Anna. 
Very good. <laughs> okay, tell me, in this conversation, was Max happy or angry? What do you think? Frustrated. He was frustrated, like he was not happy at all, right? Very good. So Max was not happy, right? He was very sad, right? That's Max, right? Very good. He was kind of angry too, right? He was kind of angry, very good. Now, we have a problem here. Yesterday, we learned how to identify the problem. What was the, the problem? What is the first line that tells us that Max is having a problem? ¿Por qué llamo Max? Why did Max call? ¿Por qué llamo? He has a problem with, uh, uh, with uh, his machine. He has a problem with his machine. Very good. He said here, I'm having a problem with my machine and I don't know what to do. Very good. I'm having a problem with my machine and I don't know what to do, right? Now, did we give an answer to Max? ¿Le dimos una respuesta a Max? Aide, what do you think? Le dimos only, una respuesta a Max. Only ask. We for only ask for questions, okay. And what happened at the end, Karen? ¿Qué pasa al final? Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Doo -doo. There is a Bruno Mars song with that, okay? Actually, was the computer on or off? What do you think? It's plugged. The computer is plugged. It's supposed. Okay. It's supposed to be? Plugged. It's supposed to be plugged in. A plug right? in. Uh -huh. But it wasn't. Ni la había conectado el señor. Right? It was not plugged in. Right? It was not plugged in. No estaba conectada. Okay. So we have there another another uh, example right of a conversation phrases that can help you right frases que les pueden ayudar aparte de las que ya están marcadas right preguntas can you describe the problem you're having how can i help you today right what exactly is the problem what exactly is the my the my the malfunction, right? Then we have also, could you walk me through what happens when your printer is get stuck? Could you walk me through the problem, right? And then we have different questions, right? That we can use. Now, do we understand this conversation? Entendemos esta conversación? Max doesn't understand anything about um, computer <laughs> with the machine and he doesn't understand what is the technique support is saying because uh, he, he's he's telling him a uh, proper words about the problems and he doesn't and Max doesn't understand anything about the words. Max is like me when I call tech support, right? <laughs> Okay, yeah, I understand some of the words they say. Now, we have words that we are going to practice. Uh, Fatima, repeat after me. Thank you, Anna, for your help. Uh, Fatima, repeat. Call in tech support. Call in tech support. Help desk. Help desk. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. Support form. 
support photo. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Malfunction. Malfunction. Diagnose. Diagnose. Software. Software. Hardware. Hardware. Remotely. Remotely. Okay. Do you work remotely, guys? Do you work remote? I work remotely. Do you work remotely? What is remotely? ¿Qué significa remotely? Trabajamos en casa, en el house. Sí, cuando trabajamos de un lugar a otro sin necesidad de ir a la oficina. Right? Very good. Let's continue, Joana. Set up. Set up. Customization. Customization. Disaster recovery. Disaster recovery. Walk me through. Walk me through. Plugging. Plugging. Very good. Thank you. These ones are numbers, so don't pay attention to that. Esa no le pongamos atención. Okay. Very good. Do you have questions right now about this? Tienen preguntas? Teacher, what's the meaning? Plug jet. Plug in. Es plug, okay. plug in. Plug in. For example, you know, I'm wearing other headsets today, and these ones are not plugged into my computer. Plug in means connected. Connected. Mm -hmm. Right now, okay. my headsets are connected to the computer. Que no me gustan. Siento que no hago nada. Okay, teacher. Me brilla la boca. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have there. Thank you, Marina, for your question. Do you have any other question, guys? Ya copiaron las palabras porque después las van a utilizar para su conversación. Así que necesito que las copien. No questions? ¿Puedo borrar esto? Yes, teacher. Travel, travel shop, shooting. Travel shooting. Okay. Travel shooting. shooting. It's very, very easy. Troubleshooting means, for example, last week, la semana pasada, last week, my cell phone wasn't working. The, you know, the, this screen was frozen. It had frozen screen. So I had to troubleshoot my phone. So I turn it off and then turn it on, turn it off, turn it on many times to troubleshoot this. Sometimes, for example, if you have a computer and it doesn't work, you need to troubleshoot the computer, right? So troubleshoot pretty much means to identify the problem that you have, right? Identif es como identificar el problema de un dispositivo, right? Y luego eh, ver cómo se puede Eh, da, 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 reparar, right? I will be like, first you identify the problem and then you solve the problem, right? You find out the answers for this, right? Cuando no tienen internet y se van a la parte de the settings, okay, the configuraciones, right? It's a troubleshoot your Wi-Fi. You click on troubleshoot and then you start looking for the problem in your computer. Once you find the problem, you need to repair the problem. And that's troubleshooting. A ese, pro, a ese proceso, right, se le dice troubleshooting. Por eso dice troubleshooting guide. Uh -huh, exactly. Because you follow a process. It's pretty much to, to trace que busca que dónde está el problema, right? And solve a problem. Buscar y resolver un problema. That's troubleshooting. Very good, Sandra. Another question, guys? No. Okay. Yes, I have custom. 
Customization. Oh, okay. Customization, very, very easy to, right? For example, if you see my phone, I have customized my phone with flowers, right? You see that? I have customized my cell phone, my cell phone wallpaper with a lot of flowers, right? So that's customization. Also, I customize the background in Zoom with English Corporativo, right? That's customization. To set up something, right, with your own likes. For example, custom, like a custom, o sea, como vestirse de una manera es como... Eh, personalizar. 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 Custom es otra cosita. Por ejemplo, Sandra, Sandra Maricela, she works in the port. Ella trabaja en el puerto, right? So she is part of the customs people. Ella trabaja en aduana. Entonces, customs también puede ser aduanas. Right? Y también lo que dice usted. Por ejemplo, in Halloween, we wear customs, right? To go trick and treat. Very good, Ana. What about the others? Do we have a question? No? Seguimos? Sí, paramos. Están durmiendo todos. Los que tienen la cámara apagada, a mí se imagina que están durmiendo, fíjese. Bien, galán, al estar cobijado. Se me imagina a mí. Ah, no, no están ahí cobijados. Pero se me imagina. Ah, no, ahí están. Ok. Very good. So let's continue. Right? We have there our first conversation. Right? Son ejemplos, recuérdense, son ejemplos que vamos a utilizar, right? Then I have another example here. In the book, on page 42, en la página 42 del libro, tenemos otro ejemplo. Right, let me show you. Because we are in unit four. Page 41, page 41, right? Let me see. On page 41, which is this, right? So it says here that in, the, in this exercise, right, what we're doing right now is the following. It's it comes from page 40. The viene desde la página 40, right? It says, your turn. Reporting a problem to tech support over the phone, right? Vamos a hacer una conversación, pero esta vez como llamada por teléfono. Es un poquito más difícil, pero ya tenemos frases que podemos utilizar en el teléfono. Por ejemplo, how can I help you? I'm sorry, I can hear you, right? Can you repeat that again? I'm afraid I cannot hear you. Give me your address. No, esa no, right? Would you please give me your address, right? So, what are we doing here? Aide, can you help me out and read number one? Work with a classmate. Write three problems for each piece of equipment. Okay. Equipment. Equipment. Very good. Uh, please read number two, uh, Veronica. At uh, the name of a piece, piece, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Piece of? Piece of equipment in your workplace using the, the, the diagram, diagram in page Diagram in page 41. Okay, so we're gonna put here the item and the questions. Look at this, possible problems. Okay, very good. And then let's continue there. Me, um, Arely, I think it is there. Mira Luna, can you please read number three? Mm 
Media. Nos da media. Okay, Sandra, can you read number three and four? Okay, Practices reporting one of those problems to a classmate. And four, change partner, partners and practice again. Okay, very good. So what are we going to do? We have... We have seen conversations, ya vimos cómo inicia una conversación, ya vimos cómo se dice que vamos a reportar un problema, right? Ya vimos diferentes frases que, que podemos utilizar en el teléfono y frases formales para los que van a ayudar e informales para los que no ayudan, right? So, we have different, we have a mix of information, mix of vocabulary. So, what we're going to do right now is that based on this, Right, we are going to create a conversation. Look at what they are doing. I have a trouble with my Wi Fi connection. I see. Let's check the router first. Right, so what are we doing here? We put the different items. Primero llenamos esta información. Right, we have printers, laptops. Ayer empezaron. Right, ya tienen todos sus, sus eh, dispositivos. You have your equipment. Right. And you have your problems. The only thing that you have to do right now is to write them. And then you are going to create a small conversation over the phone, not face to face, over the phone, right? One person, for example, if I work with Brenda, maybe Brenda is the customer and I am the person on the phone. Tal vez Brenda es la clienta y yo soy la persona en el teléfono. Right? Or vice versa. You're going to create only one conversation, not three, not four, only one, about one equipment with three problems. Right? Y van a tratar de utilizar el vocabulario que hemos practicado. Right? Entre más, mejor dicen por ahí. Right? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Sí, Ana, sí, sí. sí. Yes. Sí. Karen, Jair, Miriam. Yes, Verónica, Gerardo, Aide. Yes. Yes. Sí. Okay. Very good. Aquí no necesitamos tomar capturas porque ya tenemos todo en el teléfono, en el, en el libro, right? We stop sharing. We're just gonna make the group. Pero antes que vayan a hacerse los equipos, voy a pasar asistencia porque faltan tres minutitos. Entonces vamos a pasar ya. Okay. <tose> Veamos, Analicia Valle de Molina. Presente. Brenda Yamilete Estrada Torres. Presente, Ticho. Daniela María Ramos Ramos. Edwin Leonel Ordóñez Velázquez. Fátima Joana Tejada Candelaria. Presente. Gerardo Antonio Colocho Cordero. Presente, Ticho. Aide de la Paz Santos Vázquez. Presente. Thank you. Eh, Jaira Donis Martín Molina. Presente, teacher. Jordan Alexis González Torres. Juana Cristela Euseda García. Presente. Karen Janet Cruz Valiente. Presente. Katia Carolina Parada Tren. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Mira Gareli Romero Luna. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Maricela Cepeda Alfaro. Present. Teresa de Jesús Ramos Santos. Verónica Esmeralda Martínez Duenas. Muy bien. Presente. So, thank you. We have there our uh, class here. There would be. No, 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 no,
Give me a moment. Yeah, all of you are in groups of, of two. So like un grupo que va de tres. Ahí de ahí todos los demás, vamos en equipo. So let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Tenemos diez minutitos para hacer nuestra conversación. Traten de utilizar el vocabulario que han aprendido, las frases sobre todo. Let us go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bam, 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 Vamos, Gerardo, Daniela, Miriam, Brenda, Daniela María. Daniela. Dani. Sandra, hello. Hello, hello Sandra teacher. y Ana. Edwin solo está oyente, ¿ok? Si usted sí. ah, okay, puede seguir trabajando, ¿ok? Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Vamos a buscar, voy a buscar el libro que lo tengo en línea. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Entonces. Hi, Fátima, Gerardo. Oh, hi, teacher. No sé si Miriam se va a incorporar porque creo que tienen problemas con internet de vez en cuando. Entonces, y si no, eh, ustedes trabajen, ¿ok? Ok, Thank no problem. Thank you. See you in a moment. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. IT department. Y contesta, good morning. I am Lucas from Tech Support. How can I help you? He said, hi, Lucas. I would like to report a problem with my laptop. What is a problem, Luisa? The problem is the battery doesn't charge anymore. Ahí voy. De ahí que seguir poniendo más conversación, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Muy bien, hay de. Excelente. Así es. Sí, está muy bien. <laughs> hay que comenzar súper bien a comenzar. Ok. Entonces <laughs> vamos a... <laughs> Van con todo. Sí. <laughs> Ajá. My name Marina. is Marina. Marina. I, I have, have a problem, problem with my computer. Yo creo que lo podemos usar. Podemos ocupar eso como base. Hola. Pero cambiando. Hola. Es que, es Pero, que se sale esta cosa de repente. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, Dani? No, no, no. Ahorita estamos viendo la, la, la conversación que usted nos había puesto, la de Max y Grace. Okay. Y ocupar como base. Ok, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. See you in a moment. Bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> Vaya, pues sí, Jair. No. Vaya, podemos usarlo no. así. Sí, sí, vaya. Ya le tomé foto también ahí a la que me puse. Vaya, este. Podemos ponerle. Vaya, eh. eh... Pero ¿quién haría las preguntas? Si, si participamos, ¿quién haría las preguntas? ¿Yo o usted? Como querrás, a mí me da igual. Si quieres voy a hacerla yo, vaya. Podemos poner primero. Hello. Uh -huh. Podemos poner. Hello, is this call in tech support? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. 
haciendo, estoy llamando a un lugar preguntando para que me den asistencia. Uh -huh. Podría ser customer service. Uh -huh. O oh, ajá, uh -huh. ese de tech support. Ajá, y luego tomamos uno de los de los problemas que, que colocamos ayer. Y tú me dirías. Uh -huh. eh, yo te voy a decir, hello, this is called in tech support. Y tú me vas a decir. Yes, my name is Jair. My name is Jair. Mm -hmm. And this is the help desk. O solo podemos poner, yeah. yes, my name is Jair. How can I help you today? Uh -huh. También. Cortito, vea. Sí. How can I help you today? Y luego yo te digo, I'm having a problem. Uh -huh. I'm having a problem. With, quiero ver qué pongo a decir. No, pero es así, como es pregunta, can I will tell you? Espérame, um, can I help you? Eh, eh, para hacerlo, teacher, más este corté, queremos poner will. Ah, pero ahí sería, would you like me to help you? Pero significa... Le gustaría que yo le ayude. Ah, pero para decirte ah, pues, en no, qué no, la pues, puedo no. ayudar. ¿En qué le puedo ayudar? How can I help you? Ah, ah entonces, ah, ah, bueno. How I... can I help you? Can I help you? Thank you, teacher. How can I help you? How, how sería eh, how? H. Ajá. Uh -huh. H-O-W. H-O-W. Okay. Uh -huh. how, uh, how can I help you? Entonces yeah. ahí uh -huh. vas a contestar. Good tú, uh -huh. Okay, good morning. I need to report a problem with my internet. Okay. Entonces ahora te voy a preguntar yo. Eh, ¿Cómo sería? Problem? What kind? What, algo así. What kind? What the problem. What kind? Uh -huh. ¿Qué tipo de problema? What kind, what kind, what kind of problem? problem do you have? Uh -huh. ah, what okay. kind of... Why can... Why... Ay, Dios mío. Kind, kind. K-I-N-D. Uh -huh. Pero sería apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Apagar, apagar y encender la compu. Hola. Hello, teacher. Hi, Hello, how are you? ¿Qué les pasó? Cuénteme. I am, I am Me too. Me too. No se me nota. Sueño. También yo, teacher. Mire, es una consulta. Eh, how do you say? ¿Cómo dijimos, Marina? Apagarlo. Reiniciar. Si Reiniciar apagar la, la máquina? máquina. Reiniciar. Hay dos formas. You can say restart the computer, right? Restart. Restart the computer. Otros dicen reboot. Reboot. Both are okay. Restart and reboot. Es más fácil restart. Yep. Restart the computer, please. Restart the computer, please. Restart the computer, please. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're Thank welcome. You, teacher. Okay, so este, I'm leaving. Entonces, <laughs> um, I... Disculpe, me llamó la Verónica urgentemente. <laughs> oh, <bye. laughs> 
¿Ya pudieron poner la, palabra, la frase? What kind do you have the problem? Sería, teacher. ¿Cómo? What kind do you have the problem? What kind of problem do you ah, have? What kind ¿Qué tipo de the... problema? What kind of? Wait, pero sería of. Yes. Miren, se lo ah, escribí en el chat. Of. You have. Vaya. What kind of problem do you kind have? problem do you have? Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces ahora me decís. Miren el chat. What ah, kind sí, of bien. problem do you have? Siempre que digan qué tipo de, right? What kind of coffee do you drink? What kind of, do you what kind of ah, okay. cell phone do you use? What kind of computer do you have? What kind okay. of, what kind más of. el sustantivo del que están hablando. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Ok, Karen, entonces ahorita vas entonces, a poner... Te voy a decir, I, ajá, I can, te puedo decir, no puedo... Eh, ¿Cómo sería? Sería... Como tengo problemas no. con... Oh. I, I, I can, no, internet access? Mm, no, porque me estoy solita, ya me fijé que me estaba utilizando bastante Kent. No le he enseñado el Ay, Kent no, todavía. No. My, my Hasta... internet doesn't work My internet is not working. Ya no vamos a ir. Okay. My internet. My internet is not is, working. It's not working. Y, y tú me va, tú me dirás. <laughs> Vaya a dormirse, señora, le voy a decir yo, por favor. Deje de estar en internet. <laughs> no. No, Deme un momento, ahorita verifico. Le voy a poner. <risa> ahora le. Ahora verifico. ¿Quién es? Ok. Hello, hello. ¿Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah. of course. Of course, okay. No se escucha, teacher. ¿No? Yes. Hoy sí. Sí, hoy sí. Okay. Por andar apagando la lucita y no se la puede apagar. Ok. Now, we, we just practice, well, you practice some of the conversations, right? Veamos cómo nos salieron. Recuérdense, uno está en el teléfono y el otro está, es el cliente que está triste porque no le funciona algo, right? Now, we're going to start with. With, 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 with Sandra, porque se está riendo y quiere decir que ya terminó todo. Vamos, Sandra's group. ¿Quién va con Sandra? Anita. Ana, ok. Let's listen to them. Voy a estar escribiendo palabras que escuche interesantes, que tal vez no las hemos practicado y ya las tenga, o con asterisco a la par, palabritas que se han pronunciado mal. ¿Ok? Ajá. Vale. We're going to start with the example number three. Okay, you decide. Okay, it's the, uh, the, the, how do you say in my car? The equipment that is, it, that is, the equipment, equipment that is not working is our cell phone. So, uh, the, the, the possible uh, problems could be, Uh, my cell phone is overheating. Okay. Number two, my cell, my smartphone is running slowly. Mm -hmm. In number three, uh, my cell phone has poor battery life. Okay. Now, what is the conversation? 
Okay. Uh -huh. Do it because we just uh, work about the problems, didn't do the, the conversation. You didn't do the conversation. No, we just we just work about de, de, de identificar los problemas de cada de cada aparato es martes y el cuerpo lo sabe ok ok yo escuché Sandra ahí está riendo y no dice nada mira Sandra ay teacher como 30 una minutos pequeña... le... una vez al año no hace daño ok Yes, Now, sí. Let's listen to Gerardo's group. Don't worry, Ana and Sandra. Para mañana la preparan. Porque la van a okay. Ajá. Okay, teacher. I will start the call, okay? Okay. 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 Um, eh, thank, thank you for calling technical support. This is Gerardo. How can I help you today? Hi, Gerardo. Good morning. Good this morning, is, This is Joanna. And uh, nice to I, meet you, Joanna. Thank you, Gerardo. And I would like to report a problem with the internet. I would like to know what is the problem. Please stay, uh, tell me. Okay, so you know the, inter the internet is un unstable and my, my phone is not working. What can I do, Gerardo? Uh, okay, uh, I'm sorry. What is your name? Joanna Tejada. Okay, Miss Joanna. Uh, nice to meet you. I apologize. To, I apologize, apologize for the problem on your internet connection. I understand that your connection is unstable, and your phone is out, outline, and the phone is not work with the connection. Correct? Yeah, uh, that's correct. Okay, I will I will search a troubleshooting to give you to resolve this issue. Give me a, a, one minute, please. Okay, Gerardo. Thank you for for waiting. Uh, I give you uh, I search a troubleshooting. I don't know if you are near of the. You are near near of the box of router. Yeah, yeah, Gerardo. I'm Go to the back. You can search the bottom back on the on the on the router. Okay. Uh, press the button and restore the router, please. Okay. What let, else? Let, sorry. What else? Okay. Uh, let it the router restart. You can you can go on your font or in your computer and yeah. go to settings. Yeah. And uh, later search the network and internet status. I get it. And uh, you can forget the the connection and try to to um, you can go to sorry change your network setting please okay so you know okay i did it gerardo okay uh, you can quiero ver so um excuse me um, Gerardo, could I try to employ and unplug it again the um, cable? Could I try uh, it? No, I need to search the setting of the device because I will provide a, a settings. X1 TPPM, that is the, the, the serial. It's one. X one p.m. It's one p.m. Yeah. 
Uh, you can, you, could you tell me what is the issue that uh, appeared to you? Is showing what, what is the issue that showing in your, in your screen? Oh, uh, is the, I forgot, I forgot that word. And light, lightning, I'm it's blinking. sorry. It's blinking. It's blinking, I'm sorry, yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, so your, your issue is not the connection. Your issue is, it's a trouble of the, your, your computer. You need to send your device on support, cost support. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, please. Uh, could you give me the phone number uh, to so do you, uh, need, do you need the phone number of the customer support yeah to please. send the device yeah okay it's a pleasure to give you the the phone number you can write please yes tell me. could you write please sorry yeah okay uh the number is two two yeah seven one yes uh three four three okay so uh, you. you can call uh from 8 p.m uh, sorry 8 a.m yeah to 4 p.m it's available this perfect. support perfect i don't so, know if you have other question other other trouble to I help you? Um, no, Gerardo, that's all. Thank you for your, thank you for your help. It's a pleasure uh, to help you. Okay. Thank you for calling. Okay. Bye, Gerardo. Bye, bye. Bye, very good. Thank you so much there. Very good, get them on the plus. Very good conversation. Right, excellent. Now let me put some of the words that they mentioned that you need to remember. There are many more, right, of course, but we got this, right? Now, let's continue with Aide, Aide de la Paz. Que ella quería participar y estaba compartiendo aquí la pantalla, la señorita Aide, right? <laughs> so let's listen to Aide and I think she was with Sorry, uh -huh. teacher, yo realmente no puedo ocupar esto, no soy tan millennial, ¿verdad? entonces quería mandárselo a ella, pero realmente no sé de qué forma yo podría mandarle a... Pero, pero a, que quería. Hágalo, pero hágalo. Se lo mandé a su WhatsApp y todo, pero la cosa es que yo no puedo, no, no podía mandarle el archivo, la imagen a... a Compártala, a yo la voy a compartir acá. Pero ya, no, yo, ya, ya, no, ya se la pasé a ella, porque... Ah, no solo de madre, ya saber si ella va a entender cómo escribir aquí, pero vamos a intentar. Bueno. Ok. Let's see. Let's start. Good morning. It's department. IT department. Uh -huh. um, good morning. I'm uh, Lucas from Tech Support. How can I have you? Hi, Lucas. I go online to report a problem with my laptop. What is a problem, Luisa? The problem is the battery doesn't, doesn't charge anymore. Anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me ask you some questions. First, I need you to check if the computer cable is connected to electricity. Electricity. Okay, let me see, please. You see? Te toca a ti otra vez. Oh, sorry. Cable. No. Oh, sorry. I am very. Days. I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Ok, no comprende mi letra, creo. Es, oh, I'm very sorry. There is no cable connected. I forgot it in, in the house. Just oh, finished. Oh, ok. That was like Max. Very good. Excellent. Very good, Oseda and Aide. Excellent job. Right. We have there. <laughs> Don't worry. It was a good conversation. We have some of the phrases. How can I help you? Right. The battery doesn't charge any more. Ahí le ponemos any more. Ya no más. Right. Ya no carga más. Any more. And connected to electricity. Good. Now let's listen to Jair. ¿Con quién vas a ir? Conmigo. Vamos. No se me duerma. Que nos falta todavía un tema más. No, no, no. Está bien fácil, no me preocupes. ¿Ya estás, Jair? Sí. Vale. Está, está durmiendo ahorita, pero. <risa> Hello. ¿Is this calling tech support? Yes, uh, this is Tech Support Team. My name is Jair. How may I help you today? I'm having a problem with the internet access and I don't know what to do. Okay, uh, what is your name? It doesn't work and I need your help. Uh, can you describe the problem that you have? I don't know what is happened, but it doesn't work, Jair. Uh, can you review the router? How many lights do you see in your router? Only one. The computer doesn't work fast. It's very slow. Hasta ahí llegamos, teacher. Okay. Very good. That's good. Very good job. Thank you so much, Danny and Jair. Now, there are some phrases here and words that we need to remember. For example, router, very good use of router. We always need to check the router. And look at this, when we have Aide and Euseda, they say, how can I help you, right? And the other one says, how may I help you, right? La única diferencia es que how can I help you es bastante estándar. Right? No es informal en hasta cierto punto, pero eso es, ¿cómo lo puedo ayudar? Rápido, directo. Y la otra es, how may I help you? Es mucho más eh, formal. Right? Can you describe the problem that you have? Right? Can you describe the problem on your computer? Very good. And now we're going to listen to Veronica and Marina. Our conversation is very, very short, teacher. Don't <laughs> worry, let's do it. Okay. Good evening, my name is Veronica Martinez. Can I help you? Yes, I have a problem with my computer. What is the problem with your computer? It is very, very slow and the a screen frozen. Just a moment, please. I check the program. Um, okay, I wait. And restart the computer, please. Okay. Give me a moment. Can I help you? Can I help you in something else? Uh, no, only that. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Give them an applause, please. Very good. Now, three phrases from there. Restart the computer, right? What is the problem? Esa es una forma mucho más directa. Eh, oops. Yo no la usaría porque en una llamada porque personas que son bien sensibles <laughs> right what is the problem right and can i help you with something else al final right when ustedes trabajan a veces se arrepienten de esa pregunta 
Porque le empiezan a preguntar un montón de cosas más. Right? Can I help you with something else? Oh, yes, I have 10 more computers. They don't work. <laughs> okay, very good, Veronica and Marina. And I think we just miss Karen. Karen with Brenda, right? Solo Karen y Brenda nos hacen falta. Y luego seguimos okay. con la siguiente parte de la clase. Okay, teacher. Um... Uh, good morning, my name is Brenda Estrada. Uh, thanks for calling to Clara Company. How can I help you? Good morning. I need to report a problem with my internet. Okay. Uh, what kind of problem do you have? My internet is not working. I have trouble with my Wi-Fi connection. Okay, give me a moment, please. I verificate the problem. Okay. Okay. Finish. Claro, se tarda 10 horas en contestar. No me sorprende. I will verify the problem. Okay, ¿qué, qué más necesitan? Ya lo verificó. Okay, very good. So for this one, I just have two, two phrases. Okay, aprendimos aquí dos frases. Just give me a moment. Brenda and Karen. Okay, give me a moment, please. Give me a moment, please. I will verify the problem. Right? A veces no sabemos qué hacer. Estamos trabajando y no sabemos qué hacer con el problema. Entonces, give me a moment, please. I will verify the problem. Es mentira. Ahorita vamos a ir a correr y a preguntar. Mira, ay, ¿qué le pasa a este señor? Right? ¿Cómo le ayudo? Right? That's the moment. Un momento le de cuelgo. pánico. <ríe> le cuelgo. Le cuelgo. No sé qué le vas a <ríe> Ah, Gerardo. Se graba la llamadera. <ríe> Le cuelgo, yo lo voy a colgar porque no sé qué hacer. Y le cuelgan a uno y uno vuelve a llamar. Dropping right? the call. Dropping calls, exactly. Very good. So give an applause to everyone, right, for the hard work, right? Give an applause to everyone for the hard work, for this conversation. Very good phrases. Solo nos queda Sandra y Ana para mañana. Right. Nosotras buscamos tres problemas, o sea, tres posibles problemas para laptops, laptop, tres para printer y tres para cell phone. Ajá. Entonces, no, nos, nos detuvimos como a pensar qué problemas podían tener, no en hacer la conversación. Ahora escojan uno de los problemas y hacen la conversación. Hey, teacher, tomorrow. <risa> Y ahí ya tienen frases que sus compañeros ya les dieron que pueden utilizar. Right? Sí, sí, sí. En el chat ya quedan las frases de todos. Muy Me bien. pueden cortar la llamada. <ríe> Me pueden colgar, Liz. No. <ríe> Now, I will show you this. I would like you to, well, this is a conversation, this is an example, but I would take the time right now to explain this. Right? The use of would like to which is also on our book. Let me show you here on the book. Where is the book? Here it is, right? In our book, right? Mañana vemos las conversaciones, no hay problema. But we're gonna see this, right? Would they use, how to use would like to, right? And Anna, can you please read the definition? Dice, how to use would like to? You would like to to say what you want, especially when making when making offers and requests. Okay, very good. We're going to use would like to to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. That's the the the, the main thing, right? When we make offers or requests, right? Now we have examples with singular, right, and plural. Karen, can you please read the examples in singular? 
she would like to send the reports today. He, he, he'd like to. I, okay, he'd like to meet the new employees tonight. Very good. And Aide, can you read the examples, please, in plural? Correct. They would like to speak to supervisor. Very would good. Would like to ship this container tomorrow. Very good. Now, remember, we are going to use would like to. That's what we're going to do here. And we're going to use the word like plus two, right? And our definition for this is very simple, right? Definition, right? We use would like to, to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests, right? That's the keyword, offers and requests. We're going to pay attention to this part, right? Especially when making offers and requests, right? Now, what happens right here? We have one structure, right? We're gonna use subject, right? In the sentence, subject plus would like plus to plus the verb plus the complement right now this is a this is this is gonna work like the main verb but it's what we call in english a uh, verb phrase es una frase verbal verb phrase okay que no se confunda con los phrasal verbs que eso es otra cosa right this is a verb phrase because it is composed of many things so if I have this structure, subject plus would like plus two plus verb plus complement, look at this, sorry. Look at the example. I'm gonna put my, my boss, right? Would like, right, to, have all the employees work on work on Sunday, right? This is not true, but we're gonna make an example of this, right? My boss, subject, right? Then we have would like to, then the main verb, have, and then the complement. All the employees work on Sundays, right? So we can see right here that we're making our examples clear enough, right? So everyone can understand. That's actually a request, right? El jefe tiene, tiene una solicitud para los empleados. ¿Cuál es? Que todos trabajen el domingo. Right? Now, for example, I can say, I would like to, uh, for example, mm -hmm. I would like to, to drink coffee with, my students some time in the future, right? This is a request, right? I would like to drink coffee with my students sometime in the future, right? So this would be the structure and the use, right? Recuérdense, tiene que llevar would like to más el verbo, right? But there is another way of would like. Hay otra forma 
right? De hacerlo, por ejemplo, cuando hacemos preguntas, when we make questions. And it's actually more useful when we make a question. For example, I can ask, uh, would you like, would you like a cup of coffee? Anna, would you like a cup of coffee, Anna? Yes, right. I would. Yes, I would, teacher. Very good. Now, this is another way of saying, would you like? We just need to add a verb, right? Ahora, lo queremos utilizar con un verbo. Would you like to? Would you like to drink? Oops, sorry. To drink a cup of coffee, Anna. And she said, Yes, I would like to, right? Or yes, I would. Very good, Ana. Muy excelente su respuesta, right? Usualmente solamente utilizamos I would para responder. Yes, I would. Or in negative, uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, right? And we make it in contracted form, right? Would you like to drink a cup of coffee, Anna? Oh, yes, I would, right? No, I wouldn't. I have insomnia, so I cannot drink coffee, right? I know sean como yo, right? So we have there, right, our examples for sentences or for questions. Remember that these ones, they can become negative. I would not. I would not. We just add not, right? Pegadito al would para que se haga negativo. Eso es lo único, right? ¿Qué es lo que usualmente hacemos cuando hacemos un negativo? Now, let's make, let's see another charge that I have prepared for you. This one, I like it very much because it's going to give you more examples. ¿Cuál es esto? Miren, hay dos formas. Cuando tenemos, right? Uh, would like to, permítame aquí. Would like to plus a verb and would like plus a noun. Right. Let me show you. Sorry. Ahí estamos. Would like. Would like to plus a verb would like plus a noun, right? Now, let's take a look at the example. We have all the subjects, right? I, you, he, she, it, we, they. And then we have would like a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a cup of uh, hot chocolate, right? Or I would like to drink tea, right? ¿Se fijaron en las preguntas que le hice a Ana? Primero le dije, Ana, would you like a cup of coffee? Right? Or, Ana, would you like to drink a cup of coffee? Right? Son dos estructuras totalmente distintas. ¿Por qué? Because in this one, right here, if we take a look at this, right? The, this is with a verb, right? I don't know, it's just a color. With a verb. And this other one, right in the, in the middle, this is going to be a noun. So if we look for a noun, it will be a cup of tea. And then if we look for the verb, that will be drink, right? Now we have here the structures in negative. Right, like I said, the negative form is very common. We just need to put there, would not, right? And then we have the questions, right? Va a depender si, ten, si quiero utilizar un verbo o solo un sustantivo, que es un noun, verb or noun. Now, let me make some examples. I can put here in the first example. Mm. I would like to, I would like to go to 
the movies next weekend. I would like to go to the movies next weekend. Is this would like to plus ver or would like plus now? What do you plus think? Ver. Plus ver. Very good. Plus ver. Veamos aquí dice un, un mensaje. Permítanme. ¿Quién está escribiendo? Dígame. Ok. Pon atención, no están escribiendo en el chat ahorita, si puedes. Ok, so I have, I would like to go to the movies next weekend, right? And then we're going to put would like plus now. Look at this. I would like, right? Then I need to choose a now. I would like. Um, a new book to read, right? Now, what is the now? A new book, right? I would like a new book. To what? To read, right? So we have the two examples here and more examples right here, right? Now, what could be your examples? Right? ¿Tienen preguntas hasta este momento? No. Solo, solo para solo para dejar claro eh, cuando son nouns no lleva tú y cuando son verbos o verbs lleva el tú. Exacto, ¿verdad? exacto, porque es, ya esta parte de tú plus verb ya es un infinitivo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Do you have questions? Teacher, y cuando dice request, es una solicitud. Yes. I would like my students to practice more English outside the classroom. I would like my students, ahí sería como un noun, I would like my students to practice more English. Thank That you. would be a request. You're welcome, Anna. Now, do you have questions? Teacher. Yes, yes teacher. En negativo. <coughs> would, would, would it? Yes. Would it? Ok. Eh, así vamos tiene que olvidar, ser la así. Vamos a olvidar la L. Vamos a decir como te han dicho Hollywood. You know Hollywood? Hollywood. So we're going to say Hollywood. Would. Hollywood. Hollywood. Would. Como que no existe la L en esa palabra. Would like. Would like. Would. Ajá, este, en negativo, eh, así tiene que ir. Con, ¿Cómo sería? ¿Contractado? No, it's not necessary. Right? No es obligación que vaya así. Right? Lo único que nos sirve, como es una estructura más larga, cuando va contractado nos ayuda para pronunciar mejor. Eh, sí, podría ser entonces will not. Ya. Yeah. Ah, ok. Sí, puede ser would not. Ok, thank you, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Any other question? What are your examples? A ver, escribamos un, un ejemplo con cada uno. Como no tienen preguntas, ahora escribamos nuestros ejemplos. Rapidito en el chat. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Uy, tenemos 12 minutos. Muchas cosas pueden pasar en 12 minutos. Dum, dum, da, 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 da. Tell me if you have questions. It's okay if I say, I would like people stay at home in this moment, in this time. 
during these times yeah during 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 time. these times No me veo. Permítame. No, 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 no. Ahí soy. Qué loco. Ok. Let me see the chat. Ok. I would like to eat sushi on Sunday. Me too. Me too. I would like to travel next weekend. Me too as well. I don't know, tu pueblo es vivo or somewhere. Tu y chamichan, por lo menos. I would like to eat sushi. We like to travel next week. Excellent examples, Karen and Gerardo. Very good. I would, I, I would what? Maricela, me dejó en... Veremos. Tengo, padezco de ansiedad, Maricela. Escríbela rápido, si no me va a dar algo. No les pasa que ven algo que no está completo y le den transia. I would like to go to sleep right now. <laughs> I feel you, Cristela. I feel you. Me too. También la Brenda quería darme ya. I would like to go to, I, to, go to sleep right now. Very good. Sandra escribe la respuesta, Sandra. Voy a hacer que tome más agua. I would like, mm, ¿qué le falta? Read, ¿qué es, Maris, Maricela? ¿Qué es read? ¿Qué es read? It's too there. It's a bird. ¿Qué le falta? Two. Ok, vuelvo a escribir. A news, newspaper, newspaper. Newspaper. I would like to read the newspaper. I would like a cup of mint tea. Ooh, sounds like nice, Daniela. Sounds relaxing. I would like a cup of coffee. I would like to speak perfect English. Oh, but perfect English doesn't exist, Adonis. No existe el inglés perfecto ni para los americanos. Right? Pero si puede llegar a hablar un inglés avanzado. Casi nativo. To read. Perfect English. Very good. I would like to speak perfect English. I would like to read. Okay. Uh, I would like to read. Since I would to read. Yes. What? Marina. Yes. What? Uy, Daniela, ¿qué está tomando? Eso no puede tomar en casa. Watch, quería poner, Cher, perdón. Ah, watch, ok. Watch. Yes. Ah, ok. Ah. <ríe> ok, entonces, Vanessa, antes de watch, ¿qué va? Si sí, watch es un verbo. I, wa I would like to watch the movie. Exactly. To read the newspaper. Very good. Then we have, Joanna says, my family would like a new car next year. They would like to have fun this weekend in the cafe talon. Termine, si no nos va a costar. Termine. Permita, vamos a apagarle aquí el micrófono a la sala. My family would like a new car next year. They would like to have fun this weekend in, in el cafe talon park. El cafe talon. Porque es un nombre propio. I would like a piece of pumpkin pie. Oh, delicious. Ya viene, ya viene Thanksgiving. I would like to fly to Canada with my sister. I would like to go to Canada too. I would like to visit my family more frequently during these times. Very good. This va a ir en plural. Porque times es tiempos. Durante estos tiempos, estos momentos. I would like to read newspaper. Mm -hmm. Entonces, Hannah, this times. This times. Very good. Excellent job, everyone. 
Your examples are on fire. I would like to go to the beach with my family. Oof, nice, nice, nice. I don't see the examples for Miriam. No veo sus ejemplos. Okay, de ahí todo, todo lo demás, si sí tenemos ejemplos acá. Right? Very nice. Now, we just finished there. Terminamos con la, explicación, con la explicación de would like y would like to. Mañana vamos a completar, completar ejercicios acerca de eso. Okay? Ahora, nos quedan acá un par de minutos. Vamos a hacer aquí. Teacher, una pregunta. El, okay. el, no hay ningún, ninguna diferencia ni en plural ni en singular. El would like es para ambos. Yep. Would like. Yes, exacto, okay. muy bien. Es para okay. ambos. Bueno, para todos los, 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 ¿cómo se dice? Los sujetos. Se va a utilizar de la misma forma. Muy bien. Thank you so much, Karen, for your question. Ahora, ¿tienen alguna otra pregunta? Es importante que pregunten para que no queden con dudas. Recuérdense que esta es la última semana. Tenemos que preguntar para no quedar con, con algo así. ¿Será que me lo entendí o que no lo entendí? Right. Teacher, but if it would, it, you told us that, it, that we can use it to express what we want or, and especially when when they're making offers and requests. Mm -hmm. It's a polite way to speak too? Yeah, it's actually a, a polite way to speak. Actually, Brenda and Karen, right? Ellas estaban tratando de utilizar would like to desde la conversación anterior, right? Porque querían sonar bien formales en la conversación, right? Pero después decidieron que no porque no querían darles esa información todavía. <laughs> Right. If I if I am talking with my friends, but close friends, I I have to use these kind of words or 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 no. For example, you can say, uh, "I want to travel." Voy a usar, por ejemplo, Verónica. I want to travel to the beach. I want to go to the beach with my family next weekend. I want to. Quiero ir a la playa, right? Es, eso es eh, prácticamente expresar algo que queremos, right? Que es el, el, el uso principal de, de, de would like para decir algo que queremos. Right? Ah, I want to go to the beach with my family. Pero luego quiero decirlo de una forma un poco más formal y que a veces nosotros lo utilizamos para expresar más lo que queremos. I would like to go to the beach with my family. Right? So, las dos formas están correctas. Usted puede suplantar would like to o would like right, por want, que es querer. Porque would like to se interpretaría como me encantaría, me gust no, bueno, me gustaría. No me encantaría, perdón, me gustaría. It's a desire. It's a desire, exactly. It's a desire. I would like some pumpkin pie right now with coffee. Ya me dio antojo esta yo. I would like some pumpkin pie. I want pumpkin pie. Right. Entonces podemos utilizar los dos. Right. Para for momentos más formales, would like to. Para los amigos, want. Right. Pero va a depender del que habla también. Ok, ahora, bueno, solo vemos aquí, veo rapidito para la tarea 4. ¡Wow! Hay muchos que ya terminaron la tarea 4, muy bien. Excelente trabajo. Otros que ya tienen hasta el 40% y otros que tienen el 80% y unos que ya terminaron. Otros que todavía no han tocado la tarea 4, por favor, pónganse a trabajar, señorita Daniela, señor Edwin. Por favor, para que no les agarre la tarde, Jair, por favor, Jair, vaya a trabajar. Jonathan, ¿no está Jonathan? Marina. 
¿Qué le pasó, Marino? Y... Ya me pondré al día, teacher. <ríe> y Teresa, Teresa. También recuérdense que hay que trabajar el examen final. Right? Si pueden terminarlo el jueves o viernes, estaría perfecto. Right? En el examen final, eh, ese es bien importante. Solo hay un par de personas que ya lo completaron. Muy bien, muy bien hecho. Tienen una excelente nota acá. Right? Pero lo pueden terminar después también. Pero el día más tarde, viernes. Viernes a las 10. Ahora, déjenme pasarles lista rapidito antes que se vayan. Un momento. Eh, ta, 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 ta. Ana Valle. Presente. Brenda Estrada. Presente, dicho. Daniela Ramos. Presente. Edwin Ordóñez. Presente. Fátima Tejada. Presente. Gerardo Colocho. Aide Santos. Presente, Ticho. Jair Mártir. Jonathan González. Juana Euceda. Karen Cruz. Presente. Katia Parada. Marina Vázquez. Presente. Miriam Romero. Presente. Sandra Cepeda. Santos Presente. Chicas, Teresa Ramos, Verónica Esmeralda. Presente. Okay. Thank you so much. So there we are, guys. We have the attendance for today. It's been a pleasure today, Tuesday the 28th. I should stay with Sandra Maricela Cepeda. Me quedo con Sandra Maricela. Lo demás nos podemos ir. Bye, bye. Bye. Hola, Sandra. Hello, teacher. Hola. Me gustaría saber, Sandrita, si tenía alguna pregunta o algo que no le haya quedado claro que le pueda ayudar. Tenemos un espacio hasta las 10 y 10 para que usted nos diga, Gerardo, ¿qué hace aquí de nuevo? Se quedó de oyente. No, volví a entrar. Ajá. Teacher, ¿y en eso que estamos viendo? Solo es para expresar como cuando uno quiere, o sea, cosas como positivas. O se puede cuando uno no, no le gusta algo. Ay, pues digamos que I won't like the read. O I, I wouldn't like, like to read. read. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. a mí no me gustan eh, ciertos libros, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, yo puedo decir, oh, I wouldn't like to read that book. No me gustaría leer ese libro. Ah, entonces sí se puede usar, o sea, en negativo y sí. positivo en las horas independientemente. Sí, sí, sí porque es algo mind. que no queremos. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, teacher. Teacher, y con mis tareas voy al día, porque la otra vez estaba revisando que había unas que las había hecho, pero cuando dije a revisar que usted llamó la, puso la lista, Vi que habían varias que no me aparecían. Fíjense okay. que sí y no. Por ejemplo, hay una tarea que es la tarea número, tres, número cuatro que tiene ahorita 40%. Quiere decir, sí, vamos al día porque hoy es martes. 40%. En el midterm ya lo hizo y veo que ya empezó a hacer el parcial final, el examen final, porque ya hizo dos ejercicios del examen final. Okay. Entonces sí, sí aparecieron. Sí, pero lo único que tienen que volver a, que volver a trabajar en ellas porque tiene que tener 80. Tengo que tener 80. Okay. Y tiene, en una tiene 40 y en la otra tiene 50. Creo que no las ha terminado todavía. No, no las he terminado. Ajá, entonces solo le falta terminarlas para, con los ejercicios restantes para que su nota suba. Ok, teacher, voy a revisar eso. Perfecto, Sandra. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Algo que yo le pueda ayudar? ¿Es algo que no haya entendido? Por ahorita no, creo que voy. <ríe> ¿Segura? Sí, teacher. Bueno, entonces estamos seguros ahí. 
Me ha sido un placer entonces, Sandra. Nos vemos mañana, primero Dios, a las 8 de la noche. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Gracias. Gracias a usted. Thank you. Bye, bye.